really sincerely believe that everybody in here right now, you'll learn some things today, and if you put them into place, I sincerely believe that everybody can be in the exact same situation that I'm in now, and you don't have to live that way. So I just want you guys to know that this is about you today, it's not about me, and I'm going to try to teach you as much as possible. I'm going to tell as many bad jokes as possible. If they're not funny, just give me some courtesy laughs, and they'll make me feel good about myself. Uh, so here we go. Thank you. That's good. You already did it. Okay. Uh, real quick, on the planet Earth, there's 6.7 billion people, okay? The reason why people move here is because this is the land of opportunity. I want to encourage you guys that the things we're going to teach you today, if you were to learn these success tips and you were going to really implement them, but then you woke up in China, it wouldn't work. Or if I teach you these things today and you go, oh my gosh, I understand social networking. It still wouldn't work because China censors your internet. You know, it still wouldn't work because uh, the Castro will not let you uh, get involved in the capitalistic system. So I want to encourage you guys, you have a 4.5% chance of being born in this country. So I want you guys just to really revere that and understand that even though you're poor here, if you're poor, if you're in the audience and you're poor here, or you grow up and grew up in an area where you're, you're, you're struggling financially, even as we grow up poor in the United States, we're still leaps and bounds ahead of the third world in terms of where they're at. So I just want to uh, uh, clarify that with you, okay? Um, now moving forward here. This is my life in pictures. Uh, real quick, I'll fire through it here for you. This picture to the left uh, is a small house in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I grew up in. We moved to Minnesota due to some financial situations. I went to ORU. I worked construction. Got a job at Target. Met my incredible wife. I wrote a parody song about Richard Roberts, the former president of Oral Roberts University. He didn't think it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I got kicked out for it. Um, then I went to Oklahoma State University. Uh, somewhere along the way, I discovered a book called Think and Grow Rich, which I purchased uh, in bulk for you guys. At the bottom of your handout, there's a free link. You just go there. You'll get a free ebook. I promise we'll send that to you. Uh, that book changed my life. Once I got that information, I started a business out of a dorm room. There's a picture of the Tulsa World there. At age 20, I received the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Uh, there's a couple pictures over there, but basically we ended up moving into about a 6,000 square foot monster house and having about 50 guys work for us. And at some point, my wife pointed out to me that, honey, you don't ever see the kids. We're making a lot of money, but I never see you. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's probably a drawback. And so I decided to sell the business, and here I am today. So that's kind of my life in pictures, and we'll go over it. But I want you guys to challenge yourself right now. On the top of your handout, it says five-year goal, right? Your, your goals. It says up here, what the mind can conceive, it can achieve. Here's the scoop. I do not know anybody who's ever driven anywhere without knowing you know, where they were going. If you wanted to drive to California tomorrow, if we could just put it in Garmin or get the MapQuest out, we could probably navigate there. But if you just started aimlessly driving north, south, east, or west, you probably will never arrive there. So I'm asking you to take a second real quick on this journey together. And if you could write down specifically where you want to be five years from now, and we'll just define it in three ways for you. One, if you could write down how much money per year you realistically want to make within five years per year. And don't, don't say a crazy total that you don't believe, uh, but if it's a big total and you believe it, put it down. But financially, you ever can just take a pen and write this down? Because the pen does not forget and there's a power that happens when you write it down. I used to not believe in this, but I believe in, the, in, the, in, by believing in it now because I've seen it work. If you can just write that down. The second thing is in terms of your, in terms of if you had no, if, if money wasn't an option, where would you live? If you could write down specifically, where would you live and describe the kind of living conditions? You know, a house, Tulsa, Stillwater, California, Florida, condo, downtown, out of town. Where, write down some of the